Hello, dear students. Again, we are going to continue our lesson for quarter two, week four, which is on addition and subtraction of polynomials. Again, this is teacher Mary J. Our most essential learning competency is for you, dear learners, to be able to add and subtract polynomials. As for the reference, it is the second quarter compendium of notes in Mathematics 7 by the Schools Division of Tarlac Province. In adding polynomials, it involves combining like terms considering the order of operations. For as long as you are careful with the minus sign, you will do just fine. For example, if we are given 4x minus 10, plus the quantity 8x plus 3, we can, do, we can use two methods to solve for this problem. So let us first look into the horizontal method. For horizontal method, we first copy our given. Then we combine or we remove the parentheses. So we have 4x minus 10 plus 8x plus 3. Then we group like terms, putting together 4x and 8x and negative 10 plus 3. After that, we combine them or we apply the operation 4x plus 8x is equal to 12x and negative 10 plus 3 is equal to negative 7. Since we cannot combine 12x and negative 7, that means that 12x minus 7 is our final answer. The second method that we can use is the vertical method. So for this method, we just have to align the similar terms. As you can see, 4x and 8x are aligned, and the constants negative 10 and positive 3 are also aligned. Now we start by adding 4x plus 8x, that is equal to 12x, and negative 10 plus 3 is equal to negative 7. We came up with the same answer, which is 12x minus 7. Let's continue with example 2, but we will only focus or we will only use the vertical method. So our given is the quantity 15m minus 3 plus the quantity 2m minus 7. Let us align like terms. 15m and 2m are aligned and negative 7 and negative 3 are also aligned. We add 15m plus 2m is equal to 13m and negative 3 plus negative 7 is equal to negative 10. That is our final answer. For example number 3, we have 3x plus 7y plus the quantity 9x minus 5y. Again, we align like terms or similar terms and we add them. 3x plus 9x is equal to 12x and 7y plus negative 5y is equal to 2y. Example 4, this time we are going to add trinomials. We are going to add the, um, 2a plus 8p minus 2 plus the quantity 9a minus 6p plus 3. We write them vertically by aligning similar terms. So we have 2a plus 9a is equal to 11a. 8b plus negative 6b is 2b. And negative 2 plus 3 is equal to 1. Therefore, our final answer is 11a plus 2b plus 1. And for the fifth example, we have 11c minus 6d plus 11 plus the quantity 7c plus 5d minus 10. When we align the terms, we will have this, and we can add 
the terms 11c plus 7c is equal to 18c negative 6d plus 5d is equal to negative 1d or simply d and positive 10 plus negative 10 is equal to 0. We can remove 0 and simply write 18c minus d and that is our final answer for example number 5. So those are the examples. This time we are going to deal with subtracting polynomials. In subtracting polynomials, it is similar to adding polynomials, but we have to change the sign of the subtrahend and proceed to the addition rule. Let's look at the following examples. Example one, we are going to subtract the quantity 4a plus 1 minus the quantity 2a plus 6. So again, we can let us look at the two methods. For horizontal method, we write the given. For step 2, we remove the parentheses. Then for step 3, we group like terms. So we have 4a minus 2a and positive 1 and negative 6 together. After that, we apply the operation 4a minus 2a is equal to 2a and 1 minus 6 is equal to negative 5. We cannot combine 2a and negative 5, so our final answer is 2a minus 5. Now let us use the same um, problem, but this time we are going to use the vertical method. For the vertical method, so we write first our given 4a plus negative 2a plus 6. But we have to rewrite by copying our minuend and then change the operation into addition. Then we write the opposite of the signs of our terms for the subtrahend. So from positive 2a, we write negative 2a, and net positive 6 will become negative 6. This time, we apply addition. So we have 4a plus negative 2a is equal to 2a, and positive 1 plus negative 6 is equal to negative 5. So again, our final answer is 2a minus 5. For the next examples, we are going to use the vertical method. For example number two, let us subtract the quantity negative c plus 3d minus negative 2c plus 5d. Using vertical method, let us align the similar terms or like terms. After that, we will copy our minuend which is negative c plus 3d then we change the operation into addition and write the opposite of the signs of the terms of the subtrahend that's why we will obtain negative c plus 3d plus 2c minus 5d then we apply addition and negative c plus 2c is equal to c while 3d plus negative 5d is equal to negative 2d. So the final answer is c minus 2d. For example number 3, we have the trinomials 8x minus 3y plus 7 minus 2x plus 4y minus 9. Again, let us align the like terms. And then copy the minuend 8x minus 3y plus 7 plus negative 2x minus 4y plus 9. And when we add, the result is 6x minus 7y plus 16. That is the answer to example number 3. For example number 4, we have the quantity 9a minus 2b plus 11 
minus the quantity negative a minus 7b plus 8. Let us align them vertically and rewrite. So we have 9a minus 2b plus 11 plus positive a plus 7b minus 8. Then we add 9a plus a or 9a plus 1a is equal to 10a. Negative 2b plus 7b is equal to 5b. And 11 plus negative 8 is equal to positive 3. So our final answer for example number 4 is 10a plus 5b plus 3. Lastly, for example number 5, we have 2x plus 3y minus 5 minus the quantity 2x minus 4y plus 6. We align and rewrite to obtain 2x plus 3y minus 5 plus negative 2x plus 4y minus 6. And when we add 2x plus negative 2x is equal to 0. 3y plus 4y is equal to 7y and negative 5 plus negative 6 is equal to negative 11. Simplifying that, our final answer is 7y minus 11. So those are our examples for addition and subtraction of polynomials. See you on our next lesson, which is on laws of exponents. Bye.